which type of questions are asked related to granulation during interviews what is granulation and all possible types of questions with detailed answers will be discussed in this video if you are looking for job preparation playlist then you are at the right place because the link of playlist is given in description where you can prepare all the questions related to the job interview in pharmaceutical industries in this video we will discuss more than 20 questions which can be asked from the granulation process after watching this complete video you will be the master of granulation process mean theoretically you will be aware of all possible questions which can be asked during the granulation process and if you are currently working in a pharmaceutical industry then after watching this video you can observe your each process in detail to learn more and more so if you have not subscribed my channel first of all press the subscribe button and then hit the like button so let's start our video granulation interview questions so the first question related to the granulation will be asked define granulation so whenever it is asked define granulation give the brief and precise definition most of the people or students start to explain the granulation process but define granulation mean definition of granulation and what is granulation so granulation is defined as the process in which powders are converted into large agglomerates or granules by using binder solution solvent or by the application of pressure mean the process where we convert powders into granules by using solution solvent or application of pressure is known as granulation so the next question is what are the types of granulation everyone of you is familiar there are two types of granulation one is wet granulation and second one is dry granulation what are the methods which are used for tablet manufacturing here is the confusion between these two questions when it is asked to define or describe types of granulation there are two types wet and dry and when it is asked related to the tablet manufacturing then there are three methods wet granulation dry granulation and direct compression so the next question is define wet granulation wet granulation is the process in which we convert our powders into agglomerates or granules by using binder solution or solvent the next question is define dry granulation dry granulation is the process in which we convert our powders into agglomerates or granules by the application of pressure here is the difference between these two methods in this method we use solvent or binder solution here we use only pressure what is the reason we will discuss later on in this video steps of wet granulation and dry granulation the detailed video link is given in description you can watch from there all the steps for brief overview first step is for wet granulation weighing sieving mixing kneading wet sieving drying dry sieving and final blending for dry granulation weighing sieving mixing application of pressure by slugging method or by roller compaction screening of slugs or powder sheets and final blending next one is why we use three methods for tablet manufacturing mean why we use wet granulation dry granulation and direct compression because all the products cannot be manufactured by only one method because every method has its some limitations so we use different methods and according to the product compatibility we use that specified method for manufacturing of that product 
when to use wet granulation when to use dry granulation and when to use dry compression if our product is not degraded by the moisture and heat we use wet granulation if our product is moisture sensitive and heat sensitive we will use dry granulation and if our api has good compaction properties good flow properties and its dose quantity is very low then we use direct compression method next one is what is the kneading or define kneading the process of wetting or the process where we add our binder solution or solvent over the fine powders while mixing is known as kneading process factors affecting kneading or wetting process the factors which may affect our kneading process are quantity of our binder solution rate of addition of binder solution mixing time mean kneading time next one is the impeller speed and next one is the chopper speed the next question is why we perform pre sieving and wet sieving pre sieving is performed to break large lumps to make our product of uniform size to remove any foreign material or objects if present in the product why we manufacture granules we manufacture granules to increase flow to increase compaction to prevent line loss due to dust environment to prevent segregation all these are basic requirements for which we manufacture granules what are the defects of granulation granulation defects are overwetting underwetting over drying under drying excessive fine production segregation and assay problem or mixing issue how sieve is selected or what is the sieve selection criteria in granulation sieve selection depends upon our tablet weight our dissolution profile and our disintegration time for kneading process which type of equipment are used we use rmg the link of rmg is given in description you can watch complete video regarding rmg next one is a sigma mixer plow mixer diosla mixer which drying equipments are used during granulation usually tray dryers and fluidized bed dryers are used what is rmg as we discussed earlier rmg is used for wetting process and it is rapid mixing granulator factors affecting the drying process in drying process during fbd following factors may affect temperature of our inlet air mean inlet air temperature fan motor speed load of our product trolley mean how much load is added into our product trolley next one is what is roller compactor roller compactor is basically a equipment which is used for dry granulation which has two rollers which rotates and powder pass through between these two rollers and by application of pressure the powder is converted into powder sheets and these sheets are then broken down to convert into granules what is the excipient classification or what which excipients are used during granulation used usually following granulation excipients are used diluents disintegrants binders lubricants glidants colorants flavorants these are the commonly used classification of the excipients what is the optimum blending time with lubricants 3 to 5 minute is the optimum blending time of the lubricants we should mix our granules with the lubricants till 3 to 5 minutes i hope you are now familiar with various interview questions related to the granulation the link of video related to the interview question the link of article regarding granulation interview question is given in description you can also read all these questions some more questions are also written in the article you can read article to get more information and if you have liked my video subscribe my channel share it till share it to others and till the next video allah hafiz